Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video because I wanted to talk about something a little interesting that happened to me this week. A friend recently asked me what I think about music, if I liked music or do I listen to music. And to be honest with you, I really don't listen to a lot of music anymore. Um, I do listen to a lot of classical music in the car, but I don't really listen to tons of music anymore, mainly because um, mm, most music out there right now is not really my favorite. And I don't just like to listen to pop music because it's popular and it's playing and it gets and it's catchy and it's in your head. And B, um, mm, sometimes music really affects me in a very emotional way and it's hard to deal with all these emotions all the time and i don't like to listen to music just to listen to sound and noise i don't really like to have that i'd rather listen to like a book on tape or something inspiring than just noise um because music really makes me feel and that's what i discovered you know if it's if it's really good music and the melody is beautiful and the lyrics are perfect it can be extremely powerful, and that's what happened to me this week. I hear music all the time, just around, you know, and it's very rare that I find a song that I, that really touches me within the first few times of hearing it. Something about it will stand out, whether it's the melody or the voice of the person singing or lyrics. When it all three comes together, it's when it's a perfect song. And that's kind of what happened this week. I think I found a perfect song for me right now with what I'm going through, it just, Okay, so let me tell you the story. So what happened was I heard the song, I found out who it is, that night I went home. So it just so happens that the lyrics match the sound so beautifully and heartbreakingly. It was an experience when I was listening to it. I felt this feeling in my chest. <laughs> Do you know what I mean when you hear a song? or when you see a piece of art that just affects you so, just moves you so deeply and you feel it here, it's like a heartbreak or just an emotional experience. And that's what this was because the lyrics were so on point with what I feel right now in my life. This year has been one of the hardest years I've ever had because, and I've had some hard years. But this year has been particularly hard because I've had to experience something that I've never experienced quite to the capacity of this. And um, I've had to deal with things and feelings and emotions that um, have been extremely difficult. And it also made me realize just how important our mindset and our life is to our health. And I wanted to just bring this up because I talk a lot about healthy food and exercise and diet or just everybody talks about like what it means to be healthy and stuff. But, and some people do talk about how our mind and our thoughts and our positive thinking um, will affect our health. But this is honestly, it's the most important thing. Our mindset and our thoughts and how positive we are about life is the number one thing to our health. It's extremely important. It will make or break you. Um, I'm sure you've noticed this, when someone has a traumatic event happen in their life, whether it's a death or a divorce or, I don't know, anything, it can, it, you'll find that a lot of times health issues will come out after that, shortly after. Something will happen, they'll get diagnosed with something or they just start to not feel well or something happens because it can, these instances in our life, these, these traumatic things, play such an important role on our health and our overall well-being to the point where it can affect our body physically. Our mental state and what we think about and our thinking and our thoughts and all these things affects our body and how we feel and our ailments and everything so much that I have to just stress that how important it is to not only think about your food that you're eating and where your food is coming from and how you're moving your body, but also what's going on in your mind and how you're thinking. Because the thing about life is, not everything's gonna be perfect. We're not always gonna be happy all the time. So, traumatic things are gonna happen to us. Hard things are gonna happen, but that's what life is. Life is about experiencing life, experiencing all that comes with life whether it's happy things or sad things or hard things, things that you have to work through, because all we can do is think about what we're learning from it, what we're gaining from it, and how we're moving forward, and how important hope is and how important faith is. 
hope in the future and faith in something bigger than yourself that's going to carry you through those hard times because we're all going to have hard times it's just how we deal with them and how we go through them that is the key right there how we go through these hard times um, because we know that that hard times don't last forever and neither do happy times it's a it's a balance and sometimes life is great and even when we experience hard things sometimes we can still be okay you know um, and, and there is a time for grieving and there's a time for processing and that's just also part of life. So tying this together is sometimes with art, it can help us to process our feelings and to get through a hard time because we have a thing where, like with, auto, with biographies and documentaries, sometimes it glamorizes a particular um, thing in history, whether it's a person or an event or something. And we are fascinated by this because we all like the idea of glamorizing life, or not even glamorizing it, just making it seem cool, then making it seem artistic and just interesting, something fascinating about it. And we all are fascinating, and our lives are fascinating, whether they seem boring or not. What we're going through and what we experience is profound. And art helps us to connect to those moments. And a song or a movie or a performance or something like that can help us to not only process what we're dealing with, but look at it with an appreciation of being a part of what we are all going through in this world. And that's what I rediscovered with this song this week. I've been listening to it nonstop. It's one of those songs where I just cannot get enough of this song. I have this thing where when I was a kid, I saw life a certain way, like I would imagine myself as an adult. And that nostalgic feeling I had as a kid, imagining myself as an adult, gets me. Like what life would be like when I was an adult. And here I am. And it's, it's, it's so, do you know what I mean? It's like such an interesting feeling. And so a lot of times movies or songs will bring that up. So there was this other song that I found. It was a, an, a Rod Stewart song about a year ago. It's called um, Heart Can't Tell You No. <laughs> I don't want you to come around here no more. I'm begging for mercy. I'm just kidding. I, okay, it, I don't show a lot of my, my comedic side on here, but I'm completely joking when I try to sing that. I cannot sing. But that's the lyrics. Okay, so it's about, it's a song, look it up. It's a song about um, someone who's in love with someone who's in love with someone else. And I wasn't even going through the motion at the time. <laughs> Or the situation, but it like just the nostalgic feeling of seeing the video, the 80s video, and seeing these young people that are no longer at that age, and um, ah, the mu the music and the way the lyrics and everything together, like was so emotional and it was fun to go through that. It was like going through their life, this experience, and it moved me. Okay, so I want to know what songs move you like that. What song? What song? It can be an old song, a new song, anything. What song gets you, gets you feeling that feeling? I mean, I've had many over the years where I, I would be like, I would make people like listen to a song in the dark and make them listen to the whole song because I wanted them to feel something from the song. Death by David Bowie, is that what it's called? There's, there's, a, there's a lot of them, but uh, I wanna know what songs you feel that way about. This is interesting to me. Our movies. Or paintings. God, has a painting ever done that to you? Where you just saw the painting and you're like, oh, oh my God, this painting just got me. It got me. But not in the sense of like it was gory or, or um, you know, cruelty or anything like that, but just beauty, you know? Or, I mean, I know that images can, can invoke that if they're hard, like, you know, seeing innocence be destroyed by mankind, things like that, that's hard. That's like not the kind of thing I want to think about right now. Talking about, I think you know what I mean. I'm gonna trust you do. But anyway, did you like this video? Did you, did, did it make any sense at all? It was just, it's just something different. I'll link the song below. It's special to me though, don't, don't diss it, because I, I love it. This is, you know, part of being vulnerable on the internet. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video or, or let me know what kind of videos you're interested in seeing. I'm trying to move, branch myself into other areas because I want this to be more of a lifestyle channel. I do comedy, I'm an actor, 
So maybe some of that stuff will come in here too, but I'm really passionate about just life and healthy living and being happy and experiencing life in all of its ways, as hard as they may be. So it's just part of that. All right, I will see you next time. See you guys.